Hey guys, Wade Rush, Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. Remember when you're reloading, especially your new reloaders out there, that reloading can be hazardous if you make a mistake or don't know what you're doing. So please don't consider what I'm doing here load data. I find good starting points from good websites, forums, and reloading manuals, and I'll post the links down in the bottom of the description. But I'm sharing with you guys what works for me and what we worked up. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Here comes the reloading segment. Well, hey, good folks. Uh, I've received several requests here lately. They've kind of mounted up on me a little bit. And uh, basically what they said is, uh, Wade, um, if uh, we don't have all that, uh, that fancy stuff or the, uh, these access to these nice holes or buckshot holes that you've got access to, uh, what can we do to load up some double alt or triple alt buckshot with what we've got? And guys, several years ago when I started out, that's what I was doing. I was loading whatever we had. Uh, I'm on right here. We've got a list of, um, or I've got a line of range holes, and uh, they consist of your uh, Federal Premium, Remington Black and Green Sure Shot that you just like you'd find at Walmart, Cabela's, uh, Bass Pro Shops, Winchester, um, Nobel Sport, Mirage, Estate, and a couple of uh, of um, Double A Grays right here um they uh they are all aside from the uh the double a which is a pretty thick and the remington are fairly thick walled hulls but uh these uh the federal winchester nobel sport mirage estate all of those are a chadite type of hull straight wall thin wall type of hull and any of these are going to be where you're going to find laying all over the uh the trap range uh, we've got one near our home over here in uh, Central South Carolina, and we can go by there after any weekend and pick up bags of, uh, of these range hulls, like this right here, and there's just loads and loads of these hulls uh, bagged up and thrown in the dumpster here. And uh, So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go through several of these hulls with uh, using the wads that I have access to uh, and show you how I started out loading these things in a manner it's really simple. It seems crude at times, but it works. And uh, and I'm gonna show you a recipe here that I've been using and we've been shooting and taking a lot of speed goats down with uh, with these loads with uh, using four different powders, guys, that'll work uh, in, in this load. So be right back with the load. Okay, uh, and all of these standard buckshot loads with all of these hulls that we got here these range hulls guys we're going to be using the beautiful little winchester western standard red double a 12 or double a 12 red wide i'll get you a little bit better view of it right here guys uh this is a beautiful little tool right here you need lots of these if you're going to be loading buckshot uh and just about any hole that you want to reload buckshot in. I use these from two and three quarter inch all the way up to three inch magnum. Buckshot, great wide. You can get by loading any buckshot load you want to load with this wide right here. So this is what we're going to be using uh, in all of our little, uh, in both of these uh, double alt and triple alt loads, these standard loads that we're going to be loading right here with all of these different powders, guys. So with the, uh, with the double alt load, it is a 10 pellet uh, load using 2.8 2.8 cc scoop that is what uh, is in my mech loader right here is the 2.8 cc drop charge bar dropping 2.8 cc's of powder and so I'm using several different powders for these different loads because when I get done with them guys I'm gonna run out to the range and and, uh, and we're going to shoot each one of these loads out of these different hulls and all that and I'm going to show you how they work. But in the, uh, we're going to do the triple alt load first. In the triple alt load, you want to take uh, a cutting tool and cut the pedals. Remove the pedals, leaving nothing but the power piston right here. This is what it will look like with the pedals removed nothing but the little power piston left right there and i've got i just use uh, my flush cutters that i use with snip uh, the sprue off my pellets i take 
take that right here to the base of the wad, right here guys, like this. Just like a pair of scissors. It ain't gotta be perfect. Any little pieces hanging off like this, you wanna get rid of. Basically, that's what you're left with. You're left with nothing but the power piston here. That's what you want. And this load, I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna take the old Federal, that's first in line. It's the uh, Federal Premium, it's just a straight plastic. There's no fiber uh, base wad in here, it's all solid plastic. And I'm gonna take my little scoop, 2.8 cc scoop, and scoop up off a level scoop of Blue Dot in this one. Blue Dot powder, which is 32 grains of Blue Dot powder. Uh, see, I was fixing to see here. I thought I had decapped and primed all of them. I must have pulled this one out late. Well, that didn't take too long. All right, now we're going to take, I got the blue dot powder right here, 2.8 cc scoop. You scoop it up and then you just bump it off and shake it off till you have a level, level scoop right there, guys. And that's going to be roughly right at 32 grains of blue dot powder in this one for the triple all. All right, now we're going to take our pedals removed from our um, AA12 red wad or clay buster, um, which is the BP equivalent of the same, same number, same kind. Seat that power piston down on top of our powder. Make sure it's tamped down good. See, no pedals, just a power piston. We're going to get eight triple alt pellets stacked in by twos. Two, four, six, and eight. Right there. a little over crimp but it's not a big deal guys at all it's going to shoot just fine I'll make note that's number triple all eight pellets and 32 grains BD for blue dot powder Ready to take that out and shoot it. This, this is the black, the black Remington. I loaded one before we started the video. It actually did a little bit better than the Federal. Federal will work just fine. But the black Remington crimped just a little bit better, a little bit prettier. You're probably going to have more access to this than you will the Federals anyway. And this one, we'll do the old, we'll do this old Winchester. This is a Chidite style straight wall hull, all plastic. See them laying all over the ground, dove fields and at the ranges. Change up my Spinex starter. 
from the 8 to the 6. And then this one. This one we're going to drop 23 grains of green dot. That's what I've got in the machine right here. And we're going to seat a knot. We're not going to remove the pedals, the wide just as it is. And I just make sure that it's seated all the way down on top of the powder. You don't hear it rattling, you're good. Now, the double alt, 33 caliber, double alts, 10 pellets, and this one stacked by twos, just like we did the, uh, the, uh, the triple alt. These 33 caliber, you stack them in there by threes, they'll dimple the hull up so bad that they won't load into, the, uh, into your shotgun. So we put them in here by twos, they won't dimple the hull at all. Four, six, eight, and 10. All right. It's a beautiful thing. 10 pellet, double all. But I'm gonna make a note on this. This was 23 grains of green dot. And uh, guys, this uh, all these other holes, the Nobel Estate Mirage Double A, all loads identically the same. Same measure of powder, 2.8 cc's, which uh, if any one of combination of either two of these loads, this will work. That 2.8 cc throws 26 grains of IMR 800X. That's a great universal powder for heavier loads or lighter loads, all of my buckshot loads. I've used it in 3 inch magnum and 2 and 3 quarter inch. But it, 26 grains of 800X, remember it was 23 grains of green dot, 25 grains of Herco, all of this will work in either one of these loads, guys, the same charge of powder. It's 25 grains of Herco or 32 grains of Blue Dot. That'll give you a pretty wide range of powders, guys, and I'm going to put, when we go out to the range tomorrow, I'm going to have some loaded with all of these noted on there, and uh, we'll pop some targets, and I'll show you how they pattern. So stay with me, guys. We'll be right back with the shots. All right, guys, um, we're going on with the shots. This is the overcrimped hull. Uh, I addressed this. Uh, I had a couple of them that we, uh, we had a little problem with uh, overcrimp, which is not a big deal. It's going to load and shoot just fine. But um, uh, I'm going to post a link right here to a video that I did to, uh, to show you how to fix this overcrimp. But let's get to the shots. This is the, uh, this is the triple alt eight pellet. And this one has 26 grains of 800X in it, guys. We're at 35 yards here, guys. I didn't want to fail to mention that. We're set up at 35 yards for these targets here. All right, guys, I failed to mention the first one, that first round we shot was the estate hull. The estate hull with the 26 grains of 800X pushing eight pellets of triple alt buff. The next one we're going to fire, this is the double alt load, 33 caliber double alt, 10 pellets, 32 grains blue dot.
Blue Mirage, 32 grains blue, uh, blue dot pushing our 10 pellet double alt load. All right, guys, the, uh, the next one we're going to shoot is in the, the uh, double A gray hull. And uh, this one's got uh, eight pellets of triple alt. We're pushing this one with 25 grains of Herco powder. All right. All right, folks, for our last shot, it's going to be the double alt 10 pellet load in a uh, this old Winchester Western Chidite style straight wall pull. Find them all over the trap range. And this has got the 23 grains of green dot in it for our last of the full powders. All right, guys, there you have it. That's uh, four shots using all four different powders and all of these different range holes. So uh, hope that helped out, guys. Bubble Round Tree Outdoors will be back with another one real soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. You said it kicks like what? It kicks like a mule. Oh, okay, yeah. Plus, right. it looks. Them rooskies are tough. Yeah.